The CNG is also concerned that critical decisions are no longer undertaken by the right people in society at the right time to deal with the multiple challenges facing the Nigerian masses, particularly northern Nigeria. These hardships were recently exacerbated by the introduction of a regime of harsh economic policies that include indiscriminate hikes in pump prices of fuel and electricity tariff by the federal government. Typically, the leaderships of the NLC and TUC entrusted with the management of a planned national action to force reversal of these policies inadvertently bungled the opportunity compromised and entered into a warped agreement with government at the expense of the general public. Against this background, the CNG, in its usual resolve to confront and proffer strategic solutions to these challenges, convened an all-Northern Nigeria civil society and NGOs roundtable that reviewed essentially the competence of the present set of leaders of workers' unions and elected representatives to guarantee the well-being of the mass population. That Northern Nigeria is now rendered virtually debased in view of its multidimensional problems, degeneration and loss of its values created over the years by its own society and bad leadership. Two. The North is at present witnessing an exponential decline in its core value system, socio-economic and political capacity that hitherto bestowed it with its global relevance for multiple reasons. Whereas with its abundant resources, Northern Nigeria has a great potential to excel as a society. Bad governance appears to be among the reasons bringing about myriads of challenges of security, education, socio-economy, and political, making the region vulnerable to total collapse and degeneration. It was observed that elected representatives at all levels and the leaderships of the NLC and TUC have failed the expectations of the general population, thereby relieving themselves of further recognition. Resolutions. At the end of the round table, the following resolutions were reached. One, it was unanimously agreed to pass a vote of no confidence on the leaderships of the NLC and TUC and all elected representatives at all levels. <laughs> Two, to declare NLC and TUC incompetent a sole negotiator with government, with government on issues that affect the general population. Three, to communicate the findings of the round table in writing to the leadership of the labor union. Four, it was agreed that a more viable, confident, and unified platform should be formed to carry out future autonomous actions against this and further impunity by government. Five, a committee was set up with the mandate of designing modalities for the creation and locating the new platform in the prevailing circumstances. Six, it was agreed that all the affiliating groups and CNG officials should commence mass grassroots mobilization and sensitization while awaiting the outcome of the adjourned labor government meeting in the next few days.